YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Radio One Extra Special Guest LL Cool J. What up? Yes. What up? Sir. Yeah, man. I mean. I mean, your era of hip hop, where, where do you see it? Because I see you talking about that you just don't want to get some like hot new producer yeah. to do like yeah. you, you, you beats no more. You, you want to yeah. do you when it comes to beats. Yeah, I, I, well, it's not that I'm, I'm not interested in working with producers. Yeah. What I was saying is that I'm not going to like overpay some producer because, you know, he has a, a, a Blackberry full of numbers and, mm. you know, and, you know, he uses the black pencil to outline his hairline and wants to, you know, <laughs> you know, start, you know, running around. He got the chain and he's talking to me while he's tapping on his yes. phone trying to yes. sell me beats. I'm not interested in, basically what I'm, to be serious with you is, I just, I'm just not interested in doing a pop, yes. like kind of, you know, dance where who's the hot vocalist? Who's the yes. hot R&B star? Let me put them on my song. It's like incestuous, you know, mm. I feel like everybody's cousins, kissing cousins. Yes. And yes. you got five artists and they all have hit records with each other. Yes. And they're claiming this song is his song and this song is her song and that song is their song. But it's all like one song. And, mm. you know, and, I, and I'm not saying that there's not a lot of great music out there. Don't get me wrong. And by no means am I saying that because there are a lot of really talented artists. I mean, you look at, you know, Lady Gaga and, you know, you know, like there's a lot of artists out there that are doing special stuff. But I just think that pop radio, not necessarily the niche shows, the specialists who go in and really dig deep into the culture. But pop radio in general, I think the music has become like a little bit predictable. And it sounds like everybody's just trying to create something that fits in. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, if you really think about it, it's kind of it's kind of like one. It's like one note, you know, mm. and that that's just. That's just the way I feel about it. And I think that as artists, we have to be able to take some risks. You know, now I can't say that it's totally the artist's fault. I think that a lot of accountants and bean counters and MBAs got involved and, you know, they're looking for security. And mm. security comes from looking at what worked last time and trying to repeat that. Exactly. You know? Yeah. But, that, that, that's, that one note is what sounded the time before. Yeah. But do, have mm. you noticed that? I mean, mm. do, you, do you think there's any validity to that? Oh, entirely. I think we hip hop is definitely... Uh, gets caught up in one groove. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, plus, I mean, you know, honestly, like, you know, I it, it, it for me, it's not an age thing. If you hot, you hot. You yes. know, like, I, I enjoy, you know, some of what Drake's doing and some of what some of the guys are doing. But, you know, when you, you know, if you rapping and you sound like you got a mouth full of potato chips or something, like, I can't even understand what you're saying, B. Like, you know, I'm not talking about Drake. I'm saying the, the, some of these artists. Like, yes. I, I can't, you know. Guys sound like they, you know, like crushed the paper bag up and threw it in their mouth and then went and did vocals or something. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, we, he sounded are. crazy. <laughs> he sounded crazy. And everybody's trying to, and it, it almost seems like everybody's looking at each other, feeling like they have to look it or they'll be the one that's hating. Like, yes. you know, like I have to like this, right? Because if I don't like this, then I'm, something's wrong with me, right? Exactly. I'm out of step. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in touch. No, nah, I chose. I just went left on everybody. I'm like John Lennon, Hendrix, Bob Marley. I'm listening to, you know, things that I think are interesting. I just want to hear great music. Like, I like yes. Eminem's new song. Yes. I'm not Afraid. I think that the fact that he's writing great songs, but still, you know, spitting some, some lyrics on there is interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to hear stuff like that. Like, good music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Real good music. Not disposable I'm. I got money. I have a song, so I can do a show music. Like mm. I mean, real music. You know? I mean, we we come from a generation where you know the culture was real, uh, and the you know the art of the MC was 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 real and was was yeah. taken as that. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that the art of, the art will always be real, mm. but you know, there are different there are different you know um, periods in art. You know. You know, people, you know, art historians and all mm. these, you know, neoclassic, there's this period, there's that period. You know, there are different periods. And I think right now, when you think about hip hop culture, um, it's just a period where people are playing it really safe and really don't want to deviate too far away from what's going on, mm. uh, relying heavily on whoever the hot producer is mm. and, you know, just want to do enough to play in the club and have a visual online and go do some shows. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot of care being taken, at least in terms of what's playing on mainstream radio. 
that, that hip hop. Because, I mean, there are mm. a lot of great artists that are doing great work, but for some reason, radio isn't embracing that. It seems like it, it's become more about what demo was listening to what, you know, but you know, whatever. Yeah. And what, what do you think about a lot, a lot of the singing hip hop, which is out there right now? Um, I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't have a problem with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Force MCs, before they were the MDs and the Cold Crush Brothers and yes. the Crash Crew and even the Furious Five and even the Treacherous Three, the very early rap groups. I mean, the ones that never even, most kids don't even know who, they, a, a lot of kids don't even know who they are. They were all singing. So mm. I don't have a problem with that. I just think that just don't sound the same. Mm. You know? Yeah. I mean... I bet you right now everybody could think in their mind about five artists that you can't tell me one thing that's distinctive between them. <laughs> like, they got five singles out, and you tell me what's special about this guy compared to this guy. Okay, now, a couple of things. I mean, because you grew up as a, as a kid in that first wave of hip-hop. So you were growing up when it was just... Like, not even on the radio, cassette tapes and the live sessions were out there. People like the Coral Crush. And there's a couple of things we've got to put out there. Number one, you were one of the founders of, of Def Jam, the greatest rap la la label of all time. Uh, and your first record set that off. But what I think is more, I think it, 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 you should be acclaimed for more, is that as far as I'm concerned, I was a guy who was in it from day one was that your first record defined the structure of, of rap music. Up until your first record, uh, rap, rap records in those days, they would start rhyming at the beginning and finish 15 minutes later. Yeah. No chorus, yeah. no structure. And you invented the rap song structure, which to this day... You, you know, you know what, Westwood. I would, I would love Tim to take credit for that, but I think that Rick Rubin did that. I think that I would be um, um, a clown to be on the radio and take credit for that, even though nobody knows that, um, because Rick really was about the song structure, and that really was his doing. Because if he told me to rap for twenty-seven minutes straight, I would have did it. You know what I mean? Um, but. What I what I tried to do on the first record is just influence the, the type of beats we were gonna have, the rhythms, the cadences. You know, I was heavily involved with it. But that song structure, that was Rick, and I, I think he deserves that credit. You know what I'm saying? I think he earned that. Um, you know, but I I love the music. You know what I'm saying? I just love creating. I'm gonna make a new album. I'm just taking my time because I don't wanna. And I, one other thing I didn't say before when I was mm. talking about the other music is that I've been guilty of that as well of making songs that just fit in. So mm. I, I want to also include myself in that because I've done that a few times. Mm. Um, but that being said, I just want to take my time. And when I come out with an album, it'll be special. And people will know. I can't guarantee you to play on the radio because I'm not going to try to ple appease radio or make pop mm. records. I'm going to just try to make some great music yeah. and I hope people can appreciate it when it comes. Crazy. A uh, couple of quick things. Family good? Yeah, the family's, family's good. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, if I could just, uh, you know, just, you know, just, yeah, just, you know, shop a little less, you know. <laughs> Spend it all. No, no, less on the credit card. Good, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> you go, girl. Yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, girl. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah th thanks for coming in, man. I really appreciate, appreciate your time hanging out. And, um, it's a beautiful. Yo, thing. I want to tell, you know, just personally, just tell all the UK artists out there to stay strong, stay focused, yeah. um, you know, keep your head up. Um, believe in what you're doing, do great work. Um, you know, you guys, um, check out boomdizzle.com. It's, right. um, it's great. Boom Dizzle is an artist. I mean, it's a, a site that I created for thousands of artists. We have like 20 or 30,000 artists from all yeah. over the world. Yeah. They're getting together. They're meeting each other. They're creating new music. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, if you haven't seen NCIS Los Angeles, because, you know, hip-hop's one-on-one over here, but for those who haven't seen it, they can, you know, get they can reserve a copy of the DVD. It'll be coming out soon, so um, they can go online and do that. And um, Other than that, it's just good to see you, yeah, man. Yeah, good to see you, fam. You know fam. what I'm saying? Good to my see man. you, fam. Yeah, man, my man. My man. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy! Exactly, uh, fam. Thanks for having me. No doubt. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.